name Jamaica is from the Amerindians, meaning land of wood and water. It took about two centuries after discovery before the true shape of the island appeared on maps. The largest city in Jamaica and the capital of the country is Kingston. However, in the early years of Spanish and British control, the peninsula Port Royal was the hub of commerce and piracy in the Caribbean. Then in 1692, a great earthquake sent much of Port Royal underwater, as indicated on this map that appeared a few decades later. Just west of Kingston is a low hilly area with dry forest habitat called the Helshire Hills. It is home to the Jamaican iguana, one of the rarest lizards in the world. Moving on, we come to Portland Ridge, a limestone peninsula and the home of the critically endangered Portland Ridge frog. This fragile ecosystem includes caves and dry forest. Alligator Pond is a fishing village south of Mandeville in the Don Figuero Mountains. The southern coast is dry and this region has very little remaining forest because of human activities. The town of Black River sits at the mouth of a river by the same name. It is one of the longest in Jamaica and drains the unique karst region of the cockpit country. Jamaican crocodiles and more than 100 species of birds are known from the nearby Black River morass. Negril is a small town at the western end of the island and a popular tourist destination. Named after local black fish, it appears on the earliest maps. Just inland is a large protected wetland area called the Great Morass. Just up to the north and east is an isolated mountain of biological importance called Dolphin Head. Moving east now along the north coast, we come to the second largest city, Montego Bay, and the entry point for most tourists to the island. Columbus anchored here, calling it the Gulf of Good Weather. Turning south a bit, we find a rugged karst region that resembles a large egg carton covered in places with dense rainforest. This is the famous cockpit country, a unique ecological area threatened by encroaching agriculture. It is the only place on earth where some species of organisms are found. Moving back up to the north coast, we come to Discovery Bay, near the site where Columbus discovered the island in 1494. We also see the red dirt or bauxite being loaded onto ships for processing into aluminum. Bauxite mining is quite visible in central Jamaica because large areas of forest are destroyed in the process, exposing red dirt. Further to the east is the tourism-based town of Ocho Rios with hotels, nightclubs, and docks for cruise ships. Duns River Falls is nearby. Further along the coast, we come to Orca Besa, another Spanish name dating to the time of Columbus. Here, Ian Fleming had a winter house where he wrote the James Bond novels, stealing the spy name from a real Caribbean ornithologist. Now turning inland, we explore the Blue Mountains of eastern Jamaica, following the ridge from west to east. We pass over Hardware Gap, Portland Gap, and finally reach Blue Mountain Peak. You can hike here on a trail starting at Whitfield Hall and see endemic plants and animals and amazing views of the island from the highest point. Going down the north side of the Blue Mountains, we pass over the ruins of Nanny Town, an abandoned fort built by a maroon warrior priestess in the 1700s who fought against the British. The site appears on many old maps, but requires a two-day hike. Port Antonio is the largest town in northeast Jamaica. It is the gateway to the Rio Grande Valley, the wettest and most forested part of the island. At the eastern end of Jamaica is a small ridge called the John Crow Mountains. It has wet limestone forest and many unique species. Morant Point is the easternmost tip of Jamaica with the oldest lighthouse built in 1841. Concluding our tour of Jamaica, we come to the University of the West Indies campus in the eastern outskirts of Kingston at the foot of Long Mountain.